So when you're thinking of a budget phone, especially here in the US, uh, there are many devices you can pick from. Motorola has a bunch of phones in that price range. You're looking at under $500. Uh, but there are a lot of devices you can think of. Now, you may be thinking OnePlus, you may be thinking maybe even blue phones, you may be think thinking cheaper Motorola phones, but I am talking about a device that came out last year. Yes, I'm talking about the Essential phone. This is my best budget phone for 2018 in the US. The reason why is very simple. The phone packed in a lot of features last year, but was priced really high. And the prices dropped drastically to the point where you can pick up the essential phone now for roughly around $309. Yes, it's that cheap. And I actually picked up this phone for under $300 because Amazon keeps doing little sales on this device throughout the year. And it is definitely worth picking up. Now, in terms of build, this is this is built like a flagship device because it was a flagship device last year. Solid premium materials all the way through. Really feels nice and hefty in your hands. When you hold it, it feels like you're holding a solid smartphone and I like that. It's also one of the first phones to have, of course, really thin bezels all around. You're looking at it on screen here. The bezels are really thin. You've also got that single notch. Uh, to me, one of the best features in terms of notches. I'm not a big fan of notches, but if you're gonna do it, this I like. This at least says you're trying to be minimalistic in your approach, and they did it well. Now, it doesn't have a headphone jack, but at the $300 price point, I'm fine with it. Uh, it does have a, a speaker at the bottom. You've got a SIM tray. There is no micro SD card, but it comes with 120 gigabytes of storage. It's, um, it's got four gigs of RAM, and it's powered by the Snapdragon 835 processor. That processor was no slouch. It was a solid performer through and through, still is. You've got Gigabit LTE in there, and you can handle a lot of today's games quite well so your gaming experience should be really smooth plus you've got a really nice uh, thin bezel-less display now a couple of things actually to mention with this device um, here you've got USB type-c charging uh, you've got a device that literally uh, can do all the things you want to do right now and again it only costs about 300 bucks it's 309 right now on Amazon. Sometimes it gets cheaper. The most expensive variant is about $359. So you're looking at a really cost-effective premium phone for the price of a budget phone. You really can't go wrong with that in any extent. Now, uh, in terms of the camera, camera functionality has really improved. Uh, it's, it's solid now. And at launch, it wasn't that great. And I have to tell you this, at launch, I didn't look at the essential phone as a device to pick up, especially at $700 price point. I wouldn't have recommended it then. I will definitely recommend it now. Cameras definitely improve. There's better quality in there. Plus, you have the benefit of being one of the first devices to move Android updates really fast. Android P is official, and this device already has Android P. I picked it up. As soon as I powered it on, there was an Android P update waiting for me to, to go, and boom, there you have it. So that's, that's another benefit with this device. You're gonna be getting updates at least as long as it's supported for um, for Android at a really fast rate, which is pretty cool. I can't stress how easy it is and how uh, simple this device is, you know. It's running stock Android, oh sorry, not stock Android, forgive me there. It's running close to stock Android at least. Uh, so you're getting that very similar fast experience as a Pixel device and also the speeds in updates. I think overall, a lot of people who are looking for something cheap, cheap and cost, cost effective will definitely look at this device and say, I spent my money well. That's one of the main things. Now, you do have the added benefit of fingerprint sensor at the back. You've also got those connectors for the 360 camera, other accessories which were initially launched with this device. And I have to say, trust me, if you pick this up, you definitely can't go wrong. So for me, this is my budget device of 2018. Yes, there'll be other devices that come out, but the price will still keep dropping for this. And if you can pick it up for 300 or under 300 like I did, it is a sure winner. So if you have any questions or any comments, let us know. If you're looking to pick up a, de a device like this, or you want to pick up the essential phone, use our Amazon link down below to support the channel. This is Thunder E saying thank you very much. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel. Once you do, hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.